Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I told you so, I told you so, and I knew it. Trudeau and most of those guys that uploaded, like SEALs, including Zelensky, uh, that Ukrainian veteran, 98-year-old veteran, who fought for the what uh, SS Galicia Waffen Regiment or something like that, they knew who the guy was. It was well known who the guy was. So when the Speaker of the House of Commons of, in Canada, he resigned and he's made a statement, I didn't know, I didn't know, they didn't know, uh, it was my mistake. I said, he took a fall. Let me show you. These were the videos I made covering that garbage. It is, is, look at this one. On the 25th, Zelensky applauds the Ukrainian in Canada's House of Commons. The next uh, was Zelensky, Trudeau and all who applauded the Nazi should resign because they knew. They knew. And the other one, uh, Trudeau blames Russian disinformation. Garbage. And then you got this one. Canada House Speaker Rota resigns over Nazi things. Such honorable blah, blah, blah. He took a fall right here. Honorable Canada. Canada. So I think, and that's confirmed by someone right here. Nazi hunter Stephen Rambam. Trudeau knew he applauded a monster. I wanted to make this claim. When I saw those uh, videos and pictures with Trudeau applauding, he didn't seem too enthusiastic. His smile was not his smile. Everybody else was... He was more reserved. I didn't want to say anything. Maybe he got some hemorrhoids or problems with his little cock or something. I didn't know what was going on down there. If there's any, I think his pussy hurt. But anyway, he just uh, just did not... It was not himself. You know how he is usually like... He was... Ah, shit, it's coming. We gotta do it. We upset these guys now. We're fucked. So, here it is. Let me show you this article and I have another one. So, this hunter from New York City, Stephen Rambam, this, his job is, was to expose the Nazis, right? There is no way Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau did not know the 98-year-old Yaroslav Hunka, who received a standing ovation in the Canadian legislature, was a Nazi criminal. Stephen Rambam, a private investigator and Nazi hunter based in New York, told Sputnik. Now listen to this. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has officially apologized for a deeply embarrassing incident in the National Parliament where a Waffen-SS veteran was warmly greeted by Canadian politicians. And I'm quoting, this was a mistake that has deeply embarrassed Parliament and Canada. All of us who were in the House on Friday deeply regret having stood and clapped even though we did so unaware of the context, the Canadian Prime Minister said. Now, uh, that, that's what it is. Now he says, still Trudeau's hypocrisy has been called out by Stephen Rambam, a private investigator and Nazi hunter based in New York, publicly known for his pro bono activities, which, which have included the location and investigation of nearly 200 Nazi collaborators and war criminals in the US, Canada, Europe and Australia. Listen to this. This is the guy. This narrative that's springing up that everyone was surprised that it was a big shock that they can't believe there's such a person in Canada, it's ridiculous. Look, this person made no secret of who he was, the 90-year-old guy. He even had a website until yesterday. He posted and disseminated photos of himself in his SS uniform. uniform. He wrote about his experiences in the SS 14th Grenadiers. There's a scholarship in his name in a university in central Canada, in Alberta. University of Alberta closed Hunka Fund soon after Russian embassy's request. My friends, I mean, this is ludicrous that people could possibly have been surprised by who he was and what he did. Now, my friends, it's not me or the Russian saying it, it's this guy. And he's Jewish, I think. During the Second World War, Hunka served in the 14th Waffen Grenadier Division of the SS, also known as the SS Galicia. The unit was created by Nazi Germany in 1943 and was composed of Ukrainian nationalist militants. The division was responsible for, ethnic, for the ethnic cleansing of Jews and Poles, which was committed with exceptional brutality. 
So that I'm calling. This is not a small criminal. He didn't pick someone's pocket or steal one hundred dollar from a store. This is an alleged mass murderer who killed old people, allegedly who already allegedly killed children with his comrades in the SS Galicia division. End quote. Rambam noted, reiterating that it's virtually impossible that the Canadian authorities were totally unaware about who Hunka is. Now, it says here, Poland's education minister announced Tuesday that he had taken steps towards the possible extradition of Jaroslav Hunka to Poland. The unit Hunka served, it was particularly responsible for burning alive up to 1,000 Polish villages, villagers, sorry, including elderly women and children in Huta Pieniacza. Pieniacza in 1944. Remember when I posted that uh, uh, one of the videos in this one with uh, Hunka being um, recognized. He does this, Hunka, uh, and I'm commenting, making fun that, oh my god, these guys are so dumb, man. Look what they're doing. They're all honoring me. Something like that. That's exactly what happened, my friends. These guys are just, and I'm quoting, does it help that they are finally thre threatening to bring him to justice? Yes, says Rambam. And I'm quoting again, is there any chance at all that this will happen? No, absolutely not. Canada does not extradite Nazi war criminals. No, they just uh, extradite, what's his name, uh, through the Americans, uh, Ernst Zundel, or Zundel, how we want to call it, the German guy that was extradited via uh, United States, taken to Canada and then sent to Germany in prison five years, I think, right? Look for... Uh, Ernst Zundel. Zundel. Obviously, he's a bad dude, but hey, that's how you learn. This is not the only Nazi war criminal who was requested from Canada, and they are not extradited. They are not denaturalized. They are not deported like the US does. They are not prosecuted inside Canada, which they should be. Nothing is done to these people. Nothing is done to these people. I can give you a list of many, many more people who, frankly, were as bad or worse than Hunka and who died peacefully in their beds in Canada. Now, Mr. Babaruba, I know you, so tone it down, <laughs> Babaruba. Okay, to tell you what I did was very, very easily, disturbingly easily. We're able to compile a list of approximately 1,000 alleged war criminals, Nazi war criminals, members of the Ukrainian units, members of the Latvian Areash Commando, murdering murderers that committed crimes in Belarus, the police unit in Lithuania that specialized Eisen Commandos, Einsatzengruppen Commandos, no, Einsatz Command, Ein, Einsatz Commandos, I say I'm, I'm, I'm Einsatzengruppen, but anyway, of the Nazis that went all across Europe with the so-called Holocaust of bullets and gas vans. All of these people had represented representatives in Canada of the thousands because of the thousand because we knew that we couldn't pursue a thousand people it would be a project for the next papa papi -pa -pa -pa. anyway let's go to these guys who said university of alberta closed hunka fund fund soon after russian embassy's request my friends what the hell the university of alberta has announced about the closure of the research endowment fund bearing the name of ukrainian nazi veteran yaroslav hunka and his wife margaret soon after the public address by the Russian embassy in Canada, whose work was timely, Russian ambassador to Ottawa, Oleg Stepanov, told Sputin on Thursday, as a result of our work, the embassy discovered that Hunka and his family have an educational fund at the University of Alberta, but even after this scandal, it continued to exist absolutely officially. Uh, to our social networks, we drew the attention of university management to this story and asked them to comment on how they felt about it. The result was not long in coming. Just a few hours later, this morning, the university publicly announced that it was closing the fund, returning the money and expressed regret for any inconvenience or sadness that may have caused to anyone. The work of the embassy have turned out to be timely and correct, the ambassador stated. All right, my friends. Uh, what do you want? I told you, I told you, it was not hard. These guys knew. If you, I said it in that video, particularly in this one right here, let me show you. If you want to go and watch it uh, right here, this one, Zelensky 
Trudeau, all who applauded the Nazi should resign. And I said, if Canada House Speaker resigns, they all should resign. And I said, they knew, my friends, they knew. It's almost impossible. These guys don't recognize. The guy showed up with a badge on his chest. He was representing a group. Do you think these guys did not vet these guys? They did not know? What the hell happened there? Who? Who? Because someone fucked someone over there. I don't exactly know yet who, who but it seems like... Uh, but I don't think anything will happen to Trudeau because Trudeau has the uh, Zelensky Steins uh, supporting him. So uh, he got Jolie. Who isn't Jolie a Zelensky Stein from from um, from Ukraine? Let me just find her. My apologies. It was not Jolie. I always made a confusion between Jolie and this piece of uh, person. Uh, Christia Freeland. Just a look for this uh, person. Uh, I mean, you don't. I don't need to do anything more. Just uh, okay. So uh, I'm talking about this one. So having her, I think she's also having something with Davos. But hey, uh, don't quote me on that one. Just look into it. All right. So she has hit this one. So I don't think uh, she's the um, deputy prime minister of Canada. That's what she is. So it's one of them. She's uh, something with uh, Ukrainian, blah, 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 blah. She has an apartment or has an apartment in Kiev. So she did a exchange student. She was an exchange student in the University of Kiev or something. So she's very, very, very much uh, a Ukrainian. <laughs> anyway, my friend, my friends, here it is. They knew, they knew, they knew. Now they're going to see who is going to take political advantage of this. But nothing will change because the Canadian political system is garbage as these guys is here. Look at the leaders, it's leaders. The fuckers it produces. Biden, Kamala, Trudeau, free, Freeland, you know what? Freeland, free, Freeland, there's nothing free. <laughs> Stupidity is free. We, we get it for free somehow. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for being with me again today. They should resign. I think uh, all this demo uh, democracy uh, our democratic system should be greatly restructured and rethought and redesigned. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.